Welcome. So this will probably only work for this particular style of bell, but what this is supposed to mitigate is if you have a bicycle bell that will randomly ring as you're going down the street. I can't seem to get it to do it right now, but it will do it. It'll randomly ring um, as you're bumping along on the street. If you have a bicycle bell that does this, um, and for this particular style of bicycle bell, I may have come up with a bit of a solution to try and mitigate that. So go ahead and twist off the top, as you just saw me do, and then inside you should see, and this is how you'll know if you have the right style or not, two washers. It may even just be one washer, but two washers, and what's going to happen is when you push this, these spin, and you can feel it, the centrifugal force pushes these washers out towards your hand, which would be where the bell is, and knock those standard old washers into your hand. And so what happens is most of these mechanisms aren't too expensive, you know, they're cost-saving measures. You don't want this device to be too expensive. So the washers kind of bounce around. So if you're going on a trail or whatever, you're biking along a bump, just to sort of simulate it, those washers aren't tucked in. All we're going to try to do is make it so that these washers by default are forced to be tucked in kind of like this, and we need a little extra force to get them to fall down. So it's only the centrifugal force that will push them rather than them just bouncing around freely. So the way I've come up sort of to help with this and all you'll really need is an elastic band and a washer. Now this is a part that I've sort of custom made but you can just use a straw or some sort of um, washer that's thick enough. Uh, two millimeters thick seems to be the case with this, but you're gonna have to play around with it to find out what will work best for you. Um, you can see the spacer between the nut and the moving point where this goes up. And that's what we're looking for, something to fit into that space there. Um, we're also looking for a rubber band. Um, the rubber band you're going to have to play around with and see what strength of rubber band or length even works best for you. This one I found which is fairly weak. You don't want it to be too strong. You want it to be able to just just enough to pull it back in but still will fly out um, to go on there. And then that's pretty much it. Let's get started. So we're going to take the nut off of the top here that contains this whole unit. right? And we're not going to take the whole unit apart. We're just going to put on our washer. Now I experimented with a couple of lengths, but we're going to go with the two millimeter one here. This seems to work the best. And then we're going to contain that right on the top. So we've got a two millimeter washer right there. And that can be made out of whatever you can find, as long as it's able, if you look closely, and we'll try to get a closer shot of this here. You can look closely, you'll see that I am able to spin it freely right like that. I'm able to spin the washer freely. Don't need to worry about the nut spinning too freely right now, but I'm able to spin that plastic freely. If it's stuck and it's not able to turn, that's not going to work for you too well. That's going to cause some problems. You want this washer to be fairly loose and be able to turn with this guy here. Okay, now I'm going to focus back in here. I'll use the autofocus. Make sure I got it right. There we go. And so I'm going to take the washers off to make this process a little easier. You can just kind of make sure not to break those plastic clips, but you're going to want to pull up and pull out and pull up and pull out. And again, this will probably change or vary depending on what style of bell you have. This technique may not even work for you if you've got a completely different style of bell, of course. And now we've got a free sort of floating mechanism here. <coughs> take your elastic band wrap it on over and drape it on over the top so that it's inside between those two clips right there you can see it that's all we're really looking for and the same with the other side is kind of underneath okay perfect so now let's take our washer and we're going to thread it through the hole you can guess the idea of what i'm about to do here there we go and now with the elastic still held on through the washer, we're going to place that back on top. Perfect. And then we're going to try and get that elastic band to be on the rear side of the washer, not really touching any of the plastics. And we're going to do the same with the other one. So now that we've got this here, we can place it over the top just as a stationary point right here. Place it right over the nut 
so that it is right over top like that. It's going to be a bit loose for now and we're going to pull it on the other end. I recommend having a pair of tweezers. You can do this with your hands or your fingers if you want, but I find it's a bit finicky to do with your hands. So just keep pulling until you got a good amount. You know it's not going to fall off. So there you go. That's good. Now we're going to do the same with the other washer. We're going to put it through, put the elastic band right through like that, right there and slide that right back over top like so. And that's the basic premise. Now, we don't actually want it to be on top of this mechanism here. We would prefer it to be over the arm because it's a little bit better. So we're going to take that right back off the top here of the arm or the middle uh, spindle. And we want it to be on the arm or at least the other mechanism down there. So let's take this off. There we go. We actually want it to be around the other arm over here, if we can get it there. And if it's not tight enough, you can mess around with it and get the right tension. Pick which arm you want. Let's see if this is the right tension. Make sure it's slipped over that washer. You don't want them to touch the washers on the inner. You just want them to pass through them. So you can play with that washer and make sure that it's able to spring out still and not too much force is required. And the same with this guy here. Make sure that it's tensioned well, but we don't want this guy that's looped on here to be really rubbing too much because that will cause it to not want to move. So there we go. Now it's a little bit freer. We can see that this top elastic we wrapped over the top is not touching the washer. So that's free to move. And the other one that's wrapped over the other side is not touching it either. We've got a nice gap there. And that's the premise. Um, and the reason we had that washer in the middle is because um, it'll move with the elastic. So it reduces the amount of stretching force the, or the amount of stretch that has to be applied to the elastic because it'll just roll with it. Um, now, naturally, this mechanism wants to push up. Um, it's just how it works. So you're going to find if you tighten it all the way down, you're not going to be able to move it too well, but just give it a few, few pushes and it's going to loosen itself and then find that sweet spot. And that's where the nut needs to be. And once you've got it free, then just place your hand around it like a, like the C we had earlier. Oops, not too tight, kind of a loose fit. And make sure you're still able to feel those washers touching the skin around your hand. If you can, it's going to ring pretty well. Otherwise you can just test it. Put that right back on. Tighten it down and that'll tighten it in place and then give it a ring and we still got a ring, but no, as you can see, even when I'm trying, I'm trying desperately to make it ring. Oh, I got it a bit there, <laughs> but I was uh, really rubbing it hard there. Um, yeah, you can see that it's, these are tucked away. These are always going to be in their neutral position. And so when you push it out, it'll only ever come out with that centrifugal force and it's not going to flop around. They're not flopping around. They're never going to ding up against this metal and cause you that irritance of going down the street, constantly ringing your bell. It's great to be alert and everyone to be able to hear you coming, but it gets kind of annoying for you riding. So it does take a little more force. You will find a gentle push no longer really works. You're going to have to intend to ring your bell, but that's kind of what we're going for. Hope that you found that useful. And for those of you that have been subscribed and are wondering where is the video game console modifications, uh, <laughs> I do have some things planned. To be quite honest, there hasn't been a lot of things that I've been interested in really working on. If you do have a suggestion in the comments, feel free to leave one and I'll take a look into that console if you're interested in a particular type of modification. Um, Otherwise, hope you're doing well and I'll see you next time.